Type 1 diabetes is a serious condition where your blood glucose or sugar level is too high because your body can make a hormone called insulin. This happens because your body attacks the cells in your pancreas that make the insulin, meaning you can't produce any at all. We all need insulin to live. It does an essential job. It allows the glucose in our blood to enter our cells and fuel our bodies. When you have type 1 diabetes, your body still breaks down the carbohydrate from food and drink and turns it into glucose. When the glucose enters the bloodstream, there's no insulin to allow it into your body cells. More and more glucose then builds up in your bloodstream, leading to high blood sugar levels. We're still not sure what causes type 1 diabetes to develop. It's got nothing to do with diet or lifestyle. Everyone with type 1 diabetes needs to take insulin. Some people will inject it and others may use a pump. Some people who fit a certain criteria may also be considered for an islet cell transplant. According to new research published in Cell Reports, the causes of type 1 diabetes focus on autoimmune response, where the immune system shatters the islets of Langerhans, which help to control the amount of glucose in the body. The scientists at the University of Chicago looked at the role of the beta cells themselves in triggering autoimmunity. The study also revealed that there is a possibility that new medications could block the immune system from destroying beta cells and prevent type 1 diabetes from developing in at-risk or early-onset patients. The study describes how the researchers used genetic tools to knock out or delete a gene called ALOX15 in mice that are genetically disposed to developing type 1 diabetes. This gene produces an enzyme called 1215-lipoxygenase, which is known to be involved in processes that produce inflammation in beta cells. Deleting ALOX15 in these mice preserved their amount of beta cells, reduced the number of immune T cells infiltrating the islet environment, and prevented type 1 diabetes from developing in both males and females. These mice also showed increased expression of the gene encoding a protein called PDL1 that suppresses autoimmunity. The immune system doesn't just decide one day that it's going to attack your beta cells. Our thinking was that the beta cell itself has somehow fundamentally altered itself to invite that immunity, said senior author Raghavendra Mirmira. MD, PhD professor of medicine and director of the Diabetes Translational Research Center at University of Chicago. When we got rid of this gene, the beta cells no longer signaled to the immune system and the immune attack was completely suppressed, even though we didn't touch the immune system, he said. That tells us that there is a complex dialogue between beta cells and immune cells, and if you intervene in that dialogue, you can prevent diabetes. The study also has interesting connections to cancer treatments that harness the immune system to fight tumors. Cancer cells often express the PDL1 protein to suppress the immune system and evade the body's defenses. New drugs called checkpoint inhibitors target this protein, inhibiting or removing the PDL1 checkpoint and unleashing the immune system to attack tumors. In the new study, increased PDL1 in the knockout mice serves its intended purpose by preventing the immune system from attacking the beta cells. In the new study, the researchers also tested the drug that inhibits the 1215-lipoxygenase enzyme on human beta cells. They saw that the drug called ML355 increases levels of PDL1, suggesting that it could interrupt the autoimmune response and prevent diabetes from developing. Ideally, it would be given to patients who are at risk because of family history and show early signs of developing type 1 diabetes, or shortly after diagnosis before too much damage has been done to the pancreas. Mirmira and his team are taking the first steps to start clinical trials to test a possible treatment using ML355. This study certainly suggests that inhibiting the enzyme in humans can increase levels of PDL1, which is very promising, Mirmira said. With beta cell targeted therapeutics, we believe that as long as the disease hasn't progressed to the point that there's massive destruction of the beta cells, you can catch an individual before that process starts and prevent the disease progression altogether. If you liked the video, please give it a like, share, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. Please follow me also on Facebook and Instagram, that would help me a lot. 
Thank you very much and see you next time.